Chris Holder with Concord Battery. Thanks for taking some time to talk with us on Aero TV today here at Oshkosh. Very happy to be here. Pleasure to be with you guys today. Let's talk about some of the myths about, about batteries because people really, it's, it's one of those things that they take it, they put it in their airplane and kind of think, well, okay, I've got a battery. But there are some common misconceptions. What are some of those? Well, there are a few out there. Probably one of the older ones is that you can't store uh, lead acid or NICAD batteries together or service them in the same room. Uh, in the 60s and 70s, uh, technicians used to service NICADs and lead acids out of the same pail of water with the same syringe. And you have an acid electrolyte and an alkaline electrolyte, and they would contaminate the batteries through that same pail of water. Nowadays, Concord constructs valve-regulated lead-acid batteries that are sealed. Now, these valves are designed to allow the battery to exhale and not inhale. Now, in addition to that, we have added a flame arrestor to our vents, which will not allow a flame to be ingested into the battery, which could possibly, obviously, cause an explosion. So, nowadays, with them being sealed, you can store and service these batteries in the same room. A lot of people think that the battery is just to make the airplane start, but there's a lot more to it than that. Well, there is. A lot of people think that their battery is just for starting their engine, and I'll divide that into two segments. In the certified world, that's half the truth. The other half is that they are needed for essential power. If you lose your generating system at altitude, you're in IFR conditions. Um, in the LSA world, there's a little bit of pushback hey, we're flying on the weekends at 1,000, 2,000 feet in nice weather. We really don't concern ourselves with IFR conditions. And what I would suggest to them is that an aircraft battery provides essential power, it provides reliable power, and it provides longevity of life. Now, an LSA is still an aircraft. An experimental aircraft is still an aircraft. So. Like a certified aircraft, 99.9% .9 of the issue out there, they need it as well. So that's something that we would ask the light sport guys and the experimental guys to consider when they're out looking for a battery and to get a certified aircraft battery as opposed to, say, a motorcycle battery. Now, just because the airplane starts doesn't necessarily mean you have a healthy battery. Is well, that's absolutely right. You could actually have a battery that shows a full charge, a 12-volt battery of 12.9 volts or 25.8 volts in a 24-volt battery. But that battery could be so badly sulfated that, yes, you would have enough power to start the engine, but you get to altitude, lose your generating system. You might have 10 minutes. You might have no minutes of essential power, and then it becomes a life and death issue. What about taking it out and just sitting it on the concrete if you're not going to use your airplane for a while? The oldest myth in the book that our grandfathers taught our dads and our dads taught us is, son, don't store your lead acid batteries on the concrete floor in the garage because the concrete will suck the energy right out of the battery. It doesn't matter if they're hanging from the ceiling, sitting on the shelf, or sitting in your aircraft out on the ramp. All lead acid batteries bleed off energy. Now, sealed lead acid batteries bleed off energy three times slower than the old flooded batteries, which we stopped making about a year ago. So the point is, wherever they are, they're going to bleed off energy. If it's hot, it's going to happen faster. If it's cold, it's going to happen slower. But it's important to maintain those batteries and keep them fully charged. That is the secret to making lead acid batteries last. Aero TV is brought to you by... This Aero TV segment is brought to you by iFlight Planner. It's time to elevate your flight planning experience with General Aviation's most comprehensive suite of easy-to-use flight planning tools. Make the switch and plan your next flight with iFlight Planner. The aviation industry is far too automated and impersonal. Levels of care, service, and focus on customers have faded. Concierge provides premier customer care, leading our industry on a return to service. Find us at www.concierge.aero. AML asks you why would you pay for a Wi-Fi STC when their OOM 200 router is specifically built for digital communication. Better yet, it works with most SATCOM systems, allowing you the freedom to choose between SATCOM providers. AML's OOM line means you're not limited to one phone manufacturer, as it works with all Wi-Fi enabled devices. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com